Hey, what's up, guys? I'm back. How you guys doing? I know it's been, well, it hasn't been that long. What I was going to say, well, actually, it's been a minute since I spoke about AEW. And I've been telling myself, like, all right, I've been on WWE. Oh, best believe I have plenty more to say about WWE. But let's talk about AEW a little bit, okay? And let's start with this. You know, Shelton Benjamin, his winning streak comes to an end last night at Dynamite Fright Fright Fight. And Swerve wins in a pretty epic battle. The battle wasn't too bad to me, you know. And I'm basically, I'll talk about this, what I think is going to happen, what I think about the book. And then maybe I'll talk about more about the show. Because this show, this show did have my attention. Like, like lately, nothing AEW. I still maybe check it out. But, you know, a lot of stuff they've been doing lately has not been holding my attention Cause it just ain't been. It's kind of predictable, and it be the, and they don't really work on people like that. You know, this this night was a little more interesting because they just had more Pacific matches set up like this, and then they made this the main event, and this was like main event. Then you had the return of Bobby Lashley after all of this. You know, it's crazy, man. I know I made a video about Swerve's career being over, but at the same time, I still feel like. Is nothing special like that. And this is the big question with this. Like, where is this really going? You know, where is this really going? How far will this really go? Will, will these guys all team up? Because I think eventually they'll probably all team up. But will they be out here trying to challenge people for the gold and do that? I know Private Party just won the tag belts. I know that. You know, but damn, they had they had to fight. Um, they had to fight the young bucks like four or five times just to get it right. I mean, they did have some good matches. I enjoyed their match too. Uh, their match was like what, like the third match I think. But I enjoyed it. Like my eyes was glued to the screen when Private Party and the Young Bucks was going at it. Like, and that doesn't normally happen, but it happened yesterday. Like my eyes was like glued to certain things. The only thing I missed yesterday was who won between uh Camille and Chris Stanlander. I missed the ending. I seen who was wrestling. You know, I seen some of the match, but then I ain't catch the ending. And I still don't know and I ain't look it up. But if I had to guess, I guess Statlander would win. Unless Camille probably cheated or got help from Mercedes. That's that's my guess. You know, and that explains more about what I've been saying about Mercedes. But I'll probably make a video dedicated to her and what's going on. Because it, it's getting more and more obvious that they want this Camille girl to pretty much outshine Mercedes and pretty much turn on her in the future. So, yeah. But, man, like, ugh, like it also got me thinking about the book. And, like, like I said, is this what it's going to be? Because AEW is a lot like WWE as well. Like, they don't really do and treat their minority talents that well you know just like in aw it's like all the spotlight and the attention and the main winners most of the time be white people like and that's just how it is and then i look at this show benjamin run like he was on the winning street but he he was just fighting like minorities like i noticed that like he didn't not fight like not one white dude and so you had him knock down a whole bunch of easy minorities like leo rush just to set up uh, him with a fight with Swerve, another black dude, like, uh, that's the part that kind of gets me a little bit. It makes me think that how far the, this team really is going to go, even with Bobby there, how far, because just like with Swerve, like, you lost against uh, Daniel Bryan, who got his ass beat. You lost against Adam Cole, who I think lost not too long ago, but he won t in today's match in this match i forget who adam Cole fought but he won you know and but then you go against shelton benjamin a black dude on the streak and then you beat him in, in his streak like what and then here come bobby another black dude to come and beat you never went back for his title I don't know why they keep doing that. Swerve could have had, had a chance to go back for his title, but instead you made him go fight Hangman just so he can get beat up and embarrassed in that match. Like, come on now. Make this make sense now.
it's just really that's why i'm like yeah i mean don't get me wrong i was into it was it was i really into the swerve versus shelton yes i was because i feel like this is almost like like a dream match almost you know shelton still kind of got it and swerve is good and then it's like and it had me really wondering because honestly i thought shelton was gonna win i did to make swerve feel like oh i need to join the group but see i didn't know when bobby was coming so swerve beating them does make a little bit more sense because they brought bobby because because MVP, he just straight pulled the damn uh, Paul Heyman. He got on the phone. As soon as uh, Sheldon lost, he got on the phone and was like, oh, oh you know how uh, Paul Heyman used to be. You uh, Call Roman Reigns. He That's exactly what MVP did. Call Bobby Lashley. Bobby Lashley show up in a suit, and they just raise hell. They just come in the ring and raise hell boy this was a halloween brawl for real security guards was getting beat down mvp going crazy freaking prince nana getting fucked up i felt so bad i'm like no nah, don't do prince nana like that he getting done up man this was wild freaking uh swerve get put in the hurt lock he pass out in the hurt lock like i haven't seen an aw episode this good in a while it was good but it still got me questionable and it still makes me wonder like how far are these dudes gonna really go just like with ricochet ricochet fought will osprey it never had a real winner but ricochet is now running off fighting other people he can't come back and get his title but mjf could sit on the sideline never even be there and you know when mjf come back he's gonna get the title side you can and he's on the sideline getting getting uh rub downs and massages he ain't got to worry about nothing but i see where this is going and is powerhouse high is gonna return but i see where this is going like yeah swerve because it, it, it swerve fighting bobby is definitely going to happen and bobby is probably going to be the one to beat swerve and that's what's going to make swerve feel like he's weak without him because he probably gonna they gonna probably jack him up even more afterwards but are you going to like okay i heard mvp call a business and build the business so this is like the new her business but here it go are y'all really going to send them at some of these other teams and these other people? Or are they just going to keep fighting jobbers and minorities or each other and never really get anywhere? Like, that's that's the part. That's the thing to me. That's the thing to me. You know, it, again, it was exciting. It was exciting. Private party winning. I'm happy about that. That was cool. That was cool, but here it go. They probably not even going to have them tag team titles that long. Y'all probably already got an idea of who else y'all want to put them tag team titles on, right? I can't see them holding it for that long. I really can't. It was a good moment, though. The crowd was definitely behind them and into the match, definitely. Um, Shit, man, some of the other stuff is slipping my mind now. Now I'm like, what else happened? Right, I think Buddy Murphy is who fought Adam Cole, right? Was it Buddy Murphy? Right, then you had uh, Malachi Black. Right, he shook his hand, and then he appeared. That was crazy as hell. You shook his hand, but then you lights go all come on, and then the lights went out when they was in the arena, and they was like, oh, we just seen Malachi Black. I was thinking the same stuff when the lights went out in the arena. I, like, at the end, I was like, yo, we just seen this dude. Don't tell me he finna come back, but nah. Oh, man, they, they really rose hell, though, man. They beat the mess. They beat all those security. Like, that was one of the best security guard getting beat up scenes I ever seen. Like, you know, a lot of times when they get beat up, it be stale. But that wasn't really that stale. And then Bobby and them was just wrecking house. Like I said, even MP MVP was acting a fool trying to hit people with the cane. It was, it was ridiculous. It was ridiculous, man. But... I want to see more of this with AEW. Uh, Orange Cassidy versus Moxley. What Moxley and them is doing is getting boring. Oh, they faked and made it look like they were turning on Yuta so they could set the other dude up. Like, you know, Kyle Fletcher. Oh, I shaved my head. Do -do 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 -do. Oh, man. Oh, man. I, I don't know, man. What the, fuck? what the hell was Darby Allen doing yesterday? I'm trying to think about that. Like, what the hell was he doing? Was he there? I'm trying to remember. But, yeah. Uh, right. Orange Cassidy versus John Moxley. whoop de doo I don't, I don't think Orange is winning that match, man. John Moxley is probably winning that one for so for so. 
And, yeah, man, we'll see. We'll see where this goes, though. You know, I wish they would push them and make them strong and maybe try to put a title on them soon, you know. Are they going to be the ones? Damn, then you know what? Maybe that's why they put the titles on private party so the Hurt Business can come in and beat them down and take it. You know, I guess they're more comfortable with, with Private Party winning it because they're kind of more on the level of, you know, they got a lot in common with the Young Bucks, you know. But the Hurt Business is like on a whole another Hurt Business type level. So if they kind of beat you, it'd be like really dramatic because that's how they trying to make it look. They trying to make it everything the Hurt Business do. I'm a, You see, I'm just going to call them that now. Like, like, it, like it's just dramatic. And it was, though. It was, man. It was. But let me know what you guys think, man. I put an AEW video out there. I, I'm going to have to make something from uh, Mercedes Monet, man, because I'm still a big fan. You know, I just don't talk about her as much because I've been so focused on everybody else. But be on the lookout for that and some other things. I hope you enjoyed it. Hit the like button, comment, subscribe, and I'll talk to you guys later. Peace out.